we've been raising our voices for quite a while now and goals and targets have been set by our leaders but action is not being achieved. My name is Hilda Flavia Nakavie. I'm a climate and environmental activist. I'm a founder to Uganda's Fridays for Future, a student and youth-led organization that calls on people to take climate action, especially leaders, corporate organizations, but also individuals. Many people in Uganda do not, did not know about climate change and it's still the case. Even those who know about it, they don't feel the urge to spread it to other people or to do something about it. These young Ugandans have decided to go on strike once a week to protest against climate change. We have been able to do different activities such as lecture cleanups on Lake Victoria which is the biggest freshwater body we have in Africa. We plant trees to celebrate people's birthdays but also other events. We have been able to do climate strikes and we do those every Friday. My personal motivation is drawn from my experience. We grew up with a very big plantation, but over time we faced massive droughts, heavy rain, strong winds, and we lost our plantation to these effects of climate change. And my family couldn't afford food or like a lifestyle. And to me as a girl child, that affected me very much because I used to see my grandmother crying. My grandmother thought that maybe we were cursed by uh, the gods. And after I was opened up to the reality that actually the effects we were facing growing up are because of climate change, I wanted to make people aware that uh, there is a difference between climate change and what they think that gods are punishing them for. And that is how I started the Fridays for Future movement. Oxfam has supported Fridays for Future Uganda uh, by providing uh, financial support, for example, the last global climate strike. And they have been very supportive in the different activities like the trainings, the creating of climate awareness. My biggest achievement uh, is having grown a movement in Uganda of over 52,000 students and youth under the Fridays for Future movement. I call myself an activist because um, I'm speaking up, I'm standing up, using my voice representing millions of African young voices out there that cannot speak up on their own or that are scared of the risk of being an activist or the myths under this statement.